very good morning dear students uh, today we are going to focus on uh, the next concept that is concept of order list okay this is a one uh, theoretical concept in which what exactly order list means the order list is nothing but it is a uh, commonly frequently used in data objects okay so how it is exactly uh, used in data object that uh, we need to concentrate okay so just concentrate here order element means we are arranging some element in particular order or in sequence for example in linear elements of an order list are related to each other in particular order it is a odd sequence okay so what exactly it is so we are uh, representing element in particular sequence is called as order list is okay this is the concept of data structure is suppose uh, what kind of operations we are going to perform in order list that we need to see before that just concentrate on example there is odd numbers are less than or equal to 15 so we this is one sequence that is 1 to 15 mujhe element display karne hai that is less than or equal to 15 so element like this 1 3 5 7 11 13 15 and this is one sequence this is one order that we have represented our element is okay if you are talking about the month example month will be what it should be start from january february march april may june july august September, October, November and December. This is a sequence. It's not like that. Okay, madam, January ke pehle March aana chahiye, April ke pehle June aana chahiye. It's not like that. There is a particular sequence is given. Fixed format is given of any kind of data that we are going to store it is called as a order list. Okay. So, yeah, order list ka jo concept hai means we are storing the element in particular sequence. We cannot change the order of it. It's called as a order list. Okay. If we want to perform the any operations on that order list, for example, find the length of the list, then you try to travel the list from left to right or right to left, access the element from it. If I want to update the element from that uh, position, I want to insert the element into it, delete the element from this. It. So uh, basically, we can talk about this is a order list is given. The order is not changed. If you are taking this kind of example, if you are talking about the month. We are, if we are talking about the uh, some elements we are storing, for example, that is odd numbers are less than or equal to 15. Okay, this is a, a small concept. Uh, our uh, major concept of today's actually agenda is we how to represent polynomial representation using an array. So what exactly polynomial is? How we are going to represent it using array? A polynomial is a one type of expression. There is one variable is given that is x, which is in the term of x a of x raised to n plus a of b of x raised to n minus one up to the x. Means likewise we are representing the arrays. Okay, so how we are going uh, polynomial? So how we are going to represent this in the category of real number and n is negative integer, which is called as a degree of polynomial. There are two concepts: the degree of polynomial and second one is there is one variable is given. And second one is coefficient. Okay, so what is the essential characteristic of that polynomial? Is there are two major concepts. One is coefficient, and another is what exponent. Okay, this is very important part when we are talking about the polynomial. Is one is what coefficient, and second one is what exponent. This is very important. Okay, so what exactly the example here? Just concentrate on example here. That is, for example, there is one equation we can say. There is a coefficient means constant value that is 10. X x is a variable raised to that is a degree of polynomial that is 2 plus 26 is a 26 is a coefficient and x raised to suppose there is no form, coefficient is given means we can say that the coefficient uh, uh, exponent value will be what one here. So likewise we can represent here 10 and 26 are the what 10 and 26 क्या है coefficient है And two and one, it's exponential value. Okay, these are what mathematical term that we have to represent. How we are going to represent the polynomial? Okay, that we concentrate on the two representation of polynomial. That is, one is by using an array, and second one by using an linked list. Okay, these two major uh, use of arrays. Uh, how we are going to represent using an array and using an linked list? So we are not talking about right now the linked list is. When our linked list will is, is started, that that is the fourth number unit, then we clear the concept of representation of polynomial using that linked linked list. Okay, so basically the polynomial representation using two ways. 
first one by use of array and second one is linked list okay so we uh, concentrate on on how it will represent it okay so next will be uh, the representation of polynomial polynomial look this is single variable polynomial okay so what is the representation of polynomial is polynomial is an expression that contains more than two terms there is one expression is given in which the representation of polynomial is more than two terms you know that if this is a mathematical term you have seen actually how the polynomial is represented okay so that is a, the term is a made up of coefficient and exponent this is two important factors are very very uh, as per the concern polynomial okay the coefficient and exponent is very very important so this is one example that is p of x is x equation is given that is 4x raised to 3 plus second term is 6x raised to 2 plus 7x plus 9x raised to 0 so always remember that in when we are representing uh, in polynomial equation or representation of polynomial should be in decreasing order means degree of polynomial should be from uh largest values to lowest value so likewise we are going to represent the polynomial here okay again i am revising here polynomial ki degree jo bhi hai wo decreasing order mein represent ki jati hai means it's from largest value to low, lowest value means yahan pe in first term this is the first term of polynomial right that is the coefficient is x Uh, four, sorry, and the uh, exponent is three. Okay, so first value always remember that we, are, if you are talking about the degree of this term, should be a greatest than other. Okay, so यहाँ पे first जो value है degree के exponent के that is three. Second term में degree की value क्या है two. Third term the value of x raised to one, and next term the value of x raised to zero. Likewise, we are representing the polynomial. Okay, now we are going to represent this polynomial. using in what in array that is single variable polynomial how we are going to represent into array now memory mein uska storage kaise hoga so just concentrate here the uh, one uh, diagram is given that is name of array that is a double r here just concentrate this is what index is. index means what we are storing the element in uh, indices using indices uh, in array everyone knows that okay so this zero This one, this two, this three. This is what our index is. Okay. हम लोग आरे में zero to uh, let's say we are storing the number of element that is four. So zero to three तक हम लोगों ने store किया है. But when we are talking about in terms of polynomial representation, so always remember that the zero, one, two, three a single variable polynomial हम लोग represent कर रहे हैं. तो जो exponent हम लोग किसको बनाएंगे? Exponent means your index value here. Just concentrate. Exponent means our index value. Okay. Or array में जो हम लोग value store कर रहे हैं, this is the value of an array is called as a coefficient. Okay. So this is very important concept. How uh, in memory, in memory, how polynomial we going to store it? So memory में वो कैसे store होगा? Suppose मैंने array use किया है, तो array में zero, one, two, three representation of what? कोई uh, exponent. That is degree of that polynomial. Or actual value, हम लोग जो array में store करते हैं, that is nine seven six four. This is what the coefficient of that polynomial. Again, I am repeating here one important part is that just concentrate on example here. That is, if we are talking about the coefficient is four, okay. But ये four coefficient है, वो no doubt ये first term है polynomial का. तो आपको लगना चाहिए, madam, ये four first इसमें store होना चाहिए था ना? But वो store कहाँ हुआ है? वो थर्ड लोकेशन में वाई इट विल स्टोर इन टू थर्ड लोकेशन बिकॉज उसकी एक्सपोनेंट की वैल्यू क्या है डिग्री क्या है उस पॉलिनोमियल की दैट इज थ्री दैट्स वाई इट इज स्टोर इन टू दर्ड लोकेशन क्लियर इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेकेंड टर्म दैट इज सिक्स एक्स रेस टू टू हियर जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट दिस सिक्स को स्टोर्ड इन सेकेंड लोकेशन दैट इज सेकेंड इंडेक्स Why? Because the degree of that or degree of that polynomial is two. That's why it's stored into the second location. Because array is a continuous memory allocation. So likewise, we are going to store the element into an array. Okay. Suppose if we are talking about the seven x. So here is the seven is coefficient. Okay. But what store ka pe hoga in single variable polynomial me one location. Why? Because this term, the third term value that is seven x. उसकी डिग्री क्या है वन है दैट्स वाई द कोफिशियंट ऑफ 
a third term will be stored into the first location and what about a 9x here is 9 is a coefficient but the degree of that polynomial is zero that's why it is stored into the zero location okay so likewise we are going to represent the polynomial representation using and can perform here okay the single polynomial what are the different manipulation we can say the represent what are the different operation that representation using array array of structure kaise hoga yahi array ko hum log structure mein kaise represent kar rahenge polynomial evaluation kaise hoga how we are going to perform the polynomial addition these are the different operations of multiplication of two polynomials how it will possible that we will see using the program okay next one will be what the polynomial as an add the basic operations are follow following that is creation of polynomial okay how we are going to create the polynomial this is the basic uh, abstract data type of polynomial is means operations we can say addition of two polynomials subtraction of two polynomials multiplication of two polynomials and polynomial evaluation okay so in final examination these type of questions may ask representation of polynomial using an array in single variable or second question will be jo uh, that uh, we have seen uh, the previous example that is how we are going to represent the array using uh, um, polynomial using simple array okay second one is what we have to how to create the polynomial using array how to perform the addition of two polynomials this type of uh, algorithm either code may uh, pseudo code may ask in examination okay so how do the subtraction of two polynomials how we are going to perform the multiplication of two polynomials how polynomial evaluation will do we'll see using one program okay fine so next part will be polynomial as an array of structure okay so here array of structure having two data member that is coefficient and exponent okay of an array just concentrate on this example okay so polynomial of degree that is uh, let's say uh, 99 that is uh, px equal to 3x square plus x square minus 2x plus 5 this is one polynomial expression is given okay so why uh, it's required the array of structure Yes, student. It's very difficult. Suppose uh, we can say that the large amount of, let's say, three x raised to ninety nine up to two uh, x raised to zero. It may total number of terms. Say total hundred terms are given in one polynomial. So it is very difficult to represent that polynomial using an array. It's very difficult to represent. That's why array of structure concept comes. Okay. again i am repeating here if you are talking about this previous example this is one simple polynomial here is only four terms are given okay kitne terms hai 1 2 3 and 4 total four terms are given and there is combination of coefficient and exponent ye bahut simple hai hum log single array mein represent kar sakte hain but when we are talking about 99 total number of terms will be 100 So how it is representing using polynomial? Uh, it's very difficult using in single variable uh, polynomial. That's why it required array of structure. This we are representing the the representation of polynomial using structure. Structure is a concept of C language. We are converting this structure into C plus plus. That means instead of struct, we have to use class there. So no, there is no big issue. But you should know. how the representation of polynomial will do using structure okay that's why the title is array of structure here. okay so just concentrate on this example that is there is uh, again i'm revising the polynomial representation uh, px equal to 3x square plus 2x uh, 2 3x square plus x square minus 2x plus 5 the last term will be what constant value okay so we have to represent in memory using array of structure kaise hoga just concentrate here that is index 0 0 location mein kya store kiya hai there is coefficient 3 and exponent 3 in one location we are going to store coefficient 1 and exponent 2 and second location there is a uh, coefficient will be minus 2 exponent will be 1 what about uh, in uh, third location that is next location there is no uh, coefficient is given that is why we are directly store the value 5 and that is 0 up to we can store the value just concentrate this is the index of an array ye array ka index hai array of structure matlab kya mujhe kya karna hai i want to store mujhe particular location mein do value store karni hai so array in single array is it possible to store the multiple value in one array in one index i can say in one block is it possible to store 
no ma'am okay yes that's why we are going to store the multiple value because we have polynomial mein kya store karna padta hai coefficient plus exponent the combination of coefficient plus exponent then polynomial term form okay so that's why we are using array of structure that uh, we have seen in previous uh, lecture that is how a structure we are going to represent usme hum log multiple value kaise store kar sakte structure means combination of uh, uh, dissimilar type of data matlab hum log multiple variable wahan pe store kar sakte hain let's say we are talking about the how to represent structure using an polynomial okay so i hope uh, everyone is clear the representation of array of structure okay everyone is clear this now again i am revising here we are storing the element into index zeroth location mein coefficient and exponent hum multiple value store kar rahe hain ye sirf using single array se nahi hoga it's required the structure type of array i hope everyone is agree with this how it is we are going to see in next point okay yes, thank you so much okay next one just concentrate on array of structure so there is a struct keyword is given okay here is what struct keyword is given the name of polynomial is poly poly de sakte ho polynomial de sakte ho no problem okay uh, here is the struct keyword is given for structure this is the name of the structure that is polynomial here we are using multiple variable okay so there is integer coefficient integer exponent if i want to store this uh, coefficient and exponent in one particular array of structure matlab structure mein hum log multiple वेरिएबल डिक्लेयर कर सकते हैं मल्टीपल वैल्यू स्टोर कर सकते हैं ओके इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टूडेंट डेटाबेस सो इफ टेल मी स्टूडेंट डेटाबेस मुझे स्टोर करना है तो स्टूडेंट के लिए क्या क्या आता है स्टूडेंट के रोल नंबर है नेम है देन उनका एड्रेस है मोबाइल नंबर है ऑल दीज वैल्यूज वी हैव टू स्टोर तो सिंगल एरे में ये पॉसिबल है क्या कि जीरो मैडम सपोज रोल नंबर जीरो इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूर ई आर पी ई आर पी में जो डेटा स्टोर है रोल नंबर वन रोल नंबर टू रोल नंबर थ्री और सबका डेटा सबके फील स्टोर है इन वन लोकेशन ये सिर्फ पॉसिबल है यूजिंग स्ट्रक्चर और वी कैन से दैट अ क्लास स्ट्रक्चर ये कंसेप्ट जो सी सी में है वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इनटू द सी प्लस प्लस नो प्रॉब्लम जो सी में स्ट्रक्चर का रोल प्ले कर रहा है वही हमारा सी प्लस प्लस में क्लास रोल प्ले कर रहा है ओके सो आई होप एवरी इज क्लियर इसमें हम लोग मल्टीपल जो भी वेरिएबल है वो स्टोर कर सकते हैं वाई वी आर स्विचिंग फ्रॉम सिंगल एरे पॉलिनोमियल टू एरे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी बिकॉज आपको मल्टीपल फील स्टोर करना है इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर रिगार्डिंग स्टूडेंट तो क्या आएगा स्ट्रक स्टूडेंट उसके अंदर आएगा इंटीजर रोल नंबर इंटीजर नेम लाइक वाइज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर इट ओके और उसका हम लोग क्या करेंगे एक इंस्टेंस क्रिएट करेंगे फाइन इसको हम लोग थोड़ा मॉडिफाई करते हैं तो इसका इंस्टेंट कैसे क्रिएट करेंगे जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट हियर नाउ ओके सो इसका इंस्टेंट कैसे क्रिएट होगा इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर द हाउ टू क्रिएट द इंस्टेंट इज ओके how we are going to create the instance here that we need to concentrate okay so just concentrate here i am uh, creating one instance just uh, changing here that is if i want to store mujhe kya karna hai ki p1 of maine kya bola 10 mujhe 10 polynomial ke terms banane hai to mujhe kya karna padega p of 10 i am just representing here just concentrate here okay just i am representing here p1 of 10 matlab main 10 terms is p1 polynomial mein represent kar sakti hu ye structure ka object ho gaya usme kitne fields rahenge coefficient and exponent i hope everyone is clear now yes so this is your task so you have to convert this code into the c++ okay now just concentrate uh, for uh, we are declaring the header file here i am declaring one spdio because i am implementing programming c language mat.h because i have to perform the evaluation operation on polynomial that's why mat.h header file is required because i am performing the mathematical operation here okay then i am declaring here macro that is hash define max this is one syntax isko macro bola jata hai max naam ka variable hai usko maine uh, value pass ki that is 10 matlab throughout program mein jab main max variable use kar rahi hu matlab size represent kar rahi hu तो साइज कितनी रहेगी हमेशा टेन रहेगी ओके नाउ वी फोकस ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दैट स्ट्रक स्ट्रक की जगह पे हम लोग uh, क्या डालेंगे यहाँ पे क्लास द नेम ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल दैट इज पॉली ओके दिस आर द वॉट वेरिएबल्स ऑफ दैट पॉलिनोमियल टू वेरिएबल दिस इज स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल हम लोग बोलेंगे दिस इज वॉट स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएबल 
इसको हम लोग कन्वर्ट करने वाले हैं क्लास में भी डोंट वरी जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट पॉलिनोम के लिए दो टर्म्स होते हैं दैट इज इंटीजर इंटीजर एक्सपोन एंड इंटीजर कोफिशियंट दैट आई एम डिक्लेयर ओके दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर फाइन नाउ आई एम इन मे ओके सो वी हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट द प्रोग्राम इन मे वेन इन दिस वी हैव टू रिटर्न द वैल्यू हियर ओके so this point is remaining that i am doing first list okay uh, now we have to focus on how we are using switch case ye bhi part hum logo ko dekhna hai before that we clear all the terms here okay now uh, start okay i am implementing program in main i am just declaring here just concentrate here struct poly isko hum log kaha declare kar sakte hai ye hum log usko globally bhi declare kar sakte hai matlab yahi statement main kaha pe dal sakti hu yahan pe ग्लोबली उसका ये डिक्लेरेशन हो गया मेन के बारे में डिक्लेयर कर रही हूँ मतलब वो ग्लोबल डिक्लेरेशन हो गया ओके दिस वेरिएबल इज कॉल्ड एज अ ग्लोबल डिक्लेरेशन ओके वेरिएबल को मैंने कैसे डिक्लेयर किया है ग्लोबली आई एम डिक्लेयर ओके फाइन सो यहाँ पे देखो स्ट्रक्ट पॉली मतलब मैंने पॉलिडोमियन में कितने टर्म्स होने चाहिए टू टर्म तो उसके मैंने कितने ऑब्जेक्ट बनाए हैं पी वन मैक्स पी टू मैक्स एंड पी थ्री मैक्स ये तीन मैंने क्या लिए है एरे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर लिए ये देखो मैक्स मतलब क्या है मैक्स ये क्या है साइज है उस एरे की जब हम लोग डायमेंशन यूज करते हैं डायमेंशन टेल अस वी आर यूजिंग द एरे हियर सो एरे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर हम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं तो ये पी वन में दो टर्म्स रहेंगे दैट इज कोफिशियंट एंड एक्सपोनेंट आई होप क्लियर दिस दिस इज पी वन पी टू एंड पी वन पी टू फॉर हमें क्या करना है एडिशन करना है सब्सट्रेक्शन करना है दैट वी आर यूजिंग पी वन पी टू एंड पी थ्री फॉर Bigger. Okay, so likewise we are declaring it. So I hope everyone is clear. This is array of structure. इसे इसने हमें हमने इसको क्या किया array of structure बना है. ये array है. ये array में हमारा actually ये store values store होने वाले हैं. Okay. अभी main में हम लोगों ने क्या किया? Likewise we are uh, making the switch case here. That is integer main. Uh, we are declaring some variable. After that in do start here I am printing that is enter the polynomial expression. डिस्प्ले कौन से कौन से ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म करना है परफॉर्म वेरियस ऑपरेशन विथ पॉलिनोमियल इक्वेशन दैट इज हमें पहले पॉलिनोमियल को एंटर करना है देन वी नीड टू डिस्प्ले इट देन इवेल्युएट दैट पॉलिनोमियल देन एडिशन ऑफ टू पॉलिनोमियल सब्सट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लिकेशन दिस ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू डू ओके सो नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग द चॉइस हियर एंटर योर चॉइस यूजर को हम लोग पूछ रहे हैं देन चॉइस एंटर की स्विच केस हम लोग इस वे से लगाते हैं डू में हम लोग ये जो भी ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म करने उसको प्रिंट करते हैं स्विच ये जो फंक्शन है उसमें हम लोग केसेस लगाते हैं केस वन होगा तो क्या प्रिंट होना चाहिए केस टू होगा तो क्या प्रिंट होना चाहिए हमारा केस वन क्या है एंटर द पॉलिनोमियल एक्सप्रेशन दैट्स वाई वी आर एंटरिंग हियर केस वन कोलन पहले हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं प्रिंट एप दिस इज अवर टास्क दैट इज वट इज यूर इम्पोर्टेंट टास्क करना नो यस मैम ये Uh, in C++ we can write C out term we have to enter the first polynomial expression okay that I am scanning it scanning it we have to do the C in n t1 मतलब n t1 variable में मेरा first term की value कितने total number of terms है वो मुझे scan करने पड़ेंगे okay वो किए उसके बाद we are entering that is for loop will start okay तो so for loop में हमने क्या किया enter means C out enter जैसे मेरा first term में enter कर रही हूँ I am going to मतलब first polynomial expression में कितने term है आपके लिए से three तो so, nt1 की वैल्यू कितनी आएगी यहाँ पे सपोज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एन टी यहाँ पे मैं जो वैल्यू एंटर कर रही हूँ दैट इज हियर दैट इज एन टी वन एंड दैट टी वन की वैल्यू कितनी रहेगी यहाँ पे लेट से थ्री तो ये थ्री तक चलेगा मतलब कितने टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स है मेरे फर्स्ट पॉलिनोम में इसमें कोफिशियंट एंड एक्सपोनेंट मुझे एंटर करना है ओके सो जितने टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स है वो सारे मुझे स्कैन करने हैं दैट्स व्हाई आई एम एंटरिंग इनटू द फॉर लूप ओके फॉर लूप के अंदर मुझे एंटर करना है एंटर द कोफिशियंट एंड एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट पॉलीनोमियल ओके पहले पॉलीनोमियल की क्या करी मैं फर्स्ट टर्म एंटर कर रही हूं और वो टर्म को भी आपको प्रिंट करना है तो सिंपली यहां पे i प्लस 1 पास करना है डोंट कंसंट्रेट ऑन c लैंग्वेज स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन c++ फाइन सो वी हैव टू स्कैन दैट जस्ट कंसंट्रेट हियर P1 i dot coefficient, comma P2 i dot exponent. This is very very important because this structure ke element hai. Aur hamesha yaad rakho, ye structure ka object hai P1, P2, P3. Aur pehli term ham log P1 me lene wale hai. Isliye usko scan karte ho kaise aayega? P1 dot coefficient, coefficient, comma P1 dot exponent. Matlab mujhe pehle dot operator se wo object ka naam, dot operator and name of the variable. Likewise we have to 
स्कैन दैट वैल्यू आई होप एवरी वन इज क्लियर दिस नाउ इसको स्कैन कैसे किया forget about print app and scan app statement now we have to focus on these two lines that i am highlighting here that is first term polynomially p1 i means kaun se location pe that is zero location pe i kya represent kar raha hai location but humne abhi dekha single array mein possible nahi hai do do value store karna isliye hame kya kya store karna padta hai coefficient bhi store karna padta hai aur exponent bhi store karna padta hai That's why we are using here very very important part that is हम लोगों ने क्या use किया यहाँ पे structure use किया है और उसके variable access करने हैं element access करने हैं जैसे आप लोग C++ प्लस प्लस में ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट एक्सेस करते हो सिमिलरली यहाँ पे स्ट्रक्चर का ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट वो इलिमेंट हम लोग स्कैन कर रहे हैं ओके okay. जैसे हमने स्कैन किया वैसे हम लोग उसको क्या कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे सिर्फ प्रिंट कर रहे हैं जैसे फर्स्ट टर्म को स्कैन किया सिमिलरली वी हैव टू स्कैन द सेकेंड टर्म हियर ओके सेकेंड टर्म मीन enter the coefficient and exponent of second term then we have to scan it and print it okay and similarly we have to display okay uh, so uh, my question is that